hello everyone. Before I start, my name is Mark from Technical Support in Sprima. I'm mainly in charge of technical support for SDK and GSK. Today I'm going to introduce the concept about uh, GSK with a simple example. The webinar will cover from the basic understand of the GSK. Uh, first, we're going to introduce what is the Suprema GSK. Second, I'll briefly compare GSK and device SDK. And next, I will explain and actually show how to use a GSK in using for a Windows command. Lastly, I will be going over the FAQ from the GSK user and I'll take some questions from the audience if the time is allows. Okay, well, let's get started. The first contents of the GSK. Prima GSK is a new way to communicate like a BioStar 2 software and can accelerate the development as a lightweight, scale up a uh, cross platform solution. It supports many programming languages such as Java, C, Sharp, uh, actually, .NET Core, uh, Python. Node.js, Go, and C++. Uh, the subject of the education is, is explaining to people who are new to GSK. And the main goal is to understand the GSK and to configure it. Uh, let's talk about uh, comparing the device SDK and GSK. Let me tell you uh, the two different uh, in particular things that uh, if you want to use the master gateway, you need to get a license unlike the device gateway. You need to valid license to run the master gateway. In order to get the full license, uh, please connect, contact us, our sales team. Uh, after receiving a license key, you can activate it using the window command. I will help you. Uh, besides that, JSK provides many languages language and sample code, like Java, Python, Go, c Sharp, Node.js, etc., etc. Okay, let's take a look at why is the, what is the gRPC in, chap, in this chapter. First, we're going to talk about point that I want to mention with gRPC. gRPC is a modern communication framework that was introduced in 2015, and it based on the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. And GSK consists of the device gateway and client libraries. Uh, protocol buffers is a file is a file with a function defined. Uh, it's not familiar with protocol for buffers. Uh, you can essentially think of them as a form of a contract for communication. In a nutshell, JSK is a way that exchange data between client and server uh, and server to server. Okay, let's get started to how to use the JSK. You can also download the sample code and check the URL below and the uh, GitHub link too. In order to run the example, you have to install the uh, environment on your project like .NET Core, Python, Go, Java, etc. When it comes to uh, C Sharp project in JSK, you have to download .NET Tool and .NET gRPC. Java needs Gradle more than 6.3 version, so please modify the environment available in Windows and apply it. I can share this information uh, download uh, when it comes to uh, Python. Download the latest version of the Python library from the GitHub, and make sure that add uh, environment variables and Python path like this in your project directory. About the Node.js, uh, download Node.js 4.0 or higher higher version, and also install the gRPC with the uh, npm command. NPM command. About the Go language, uh, download and install the links and add environment variables in the window. 
Okay, let's take a look at the C Sharp example program. First, you can create a self signed certificate, and then I will let you know how to run the example by playing the video next page. Uh, in order to connect a client program to the device gateway, you must install the certificate like this. Uh, let's take a look how to install the certificate. Okay, you can open the project directly with uh, GitHub or the entire folder can be loaded in the Visual Studio. The entire folder can be loaded in the Visual Studio before I said that. In my case, I loaded the GitHub URL uh, in the Visual Studio. First, uh, choose the preferred program language folder and uh, modify the CA path like this, uh, CA path directly, and set the current gateway IP server address, and the change gateway, the device information uh, in the program class file as it needed. Uh, most of the people try to use JSK with BioStar, but JSK used a uh, 51212 port, uh, it must be stopped off service because it is the same as a BioStar 2. When you start stopped off service and put the command .net run, I'm going to show you connect the device and next page. To connect to device, you have to know their addresses and relate to the option, such as connect to mode. You can get information in the subnet. Uh, the device appeared in your environment of the internet band, uh, as you can see. Got it. Next page, we're going to how to enroll uh, the adding user and card to. Let's enroll the user. Click the test folder. Uh, make sure to click the test folder first and then click the terminal command like this. And type the net one when it comes to C sharp. You have to run the device gateway. Execute the dynamic alarm. And uh, this card test, uh, you can tap the card in your device. This is a finger test. You can scan the finger on your device. And this is auth mode. But this is auth mode that you can choose the mode card or fingerprints or both. Verify success event uh, and 
adding user uh, like this. Okay, next we have summarized three, uh, five FAQ in the GSK. Let's take a look. Question number one. Uh, could you confirm the Velo message? I cannot run the uh, GSK example. Can uh, the message is that cannot connect the device or cannot handshake direct direct connection. In this case, uh, it can be running with a BioStar at, at the same time. Uh, please stop the BioStar service. And, and also, please restart the device gateway application. Okay, question number two. Cannot send a, a status change. The transport is closing, cannot send the state of change. Now the majority in this error is that three, uh, uh, there are uh, some issues by handshaking with the device SDK. Uh, you can expand the low, uh, value of the keep alive value more. The config files in the device gateway folders. Question number three, the solution might be that uh, the, I cannot connect the device and I cannot add a user. How can I solve this issue? If the difference certificate uh, for the secret communication is in the device, you have to factory reset in your device. Question number four, I want to use face access on card with face station F2. Can I use uh, JSK for this? Uh, the answer is that JSK does not have API protocol buffers to support uh, face uh, AOC. These features will be will be added uh, to the next version of JSK, or maybe one for a one one point five version. And the estimated schedule is in the 2022 or fourth quarter. Uh, question number five. How can you update the user profile image? Uh, this would be updated next version of the GSK. Uh, we can provide a beta example code to you if you need. Please contact our technical support team. Uh, so hopefully this provides an example of the gRPC. It is so useful for me. Of course, the gRPC is not a cure, so always cures a solution for communication. I did, but I did emphasize that it can be a good solution for your application on your project. Uh, that's all. That's for today. If you have any question, if you have any questions about today webinar please ask questions through QA please leave the question in question box how to offset the gateway in Ubuntu when it comes to Ubuntu there is a file that in the github page and I, I will send you how to set up the method can I and the number two can you share C++ code with Ubuntu virus gateway yeah I will show you in your email. I will send you send it the email. Okay, thank you for joining us today. Uh, see you next time. Thank you.